Welcome back and let's take you to other parts of Africa. Pope Francis began a visit to South Sudan on Friday with an impassioned plea to its fractious leaders to turn their backs on the violence, ethnic hatred and corruption that have stopped the world's youngest country from achieving peace and prosperity. South Sudan broke away from Sudan to become independent in 2011 after decades of conflict, but civil war erupted in 2013. Despite a 2018 peace deal between the two main antagonists, violence and hunger still plagued the country. Tens of thousands of people sang, drummed and ayulated as the Roman Catholic leader arrived in the capital Juba on Friday for an unprecedented joint pilgrimage of peace with its Anglican and Scottish Presbyterian counterparts. In April 2019, during the spiritual retreat we held at the Vatican, Your Holiness kissed our feet and asked us to remain in peace. You also told us from your heart to move forward. That that rare gesture of humility did not go in vain. When you kiss our feet, my brother Dr. Yekmachar was outside the country. Today both Dr. Yek and, and I are seated here working collectively to implement the revitalized peace agreement we signed in 2018. We prayed together in Rome of the God who is gentle and humble in heart, the God in whom so many people of this beloved country believe now is time to say no more of this without ifs or buts. No more bloodshed, no more conflicts, no more violence, mutual recrimination about who is responsible for it, no more leaving your people at rest for peace, no more destruction. It is time to build, lift the time of war behind and let a time of peace dawn.